All right, guys, we're back. Here we are in New Atlantis, and here is my next ship. Um, kind of did a lighter fighter style ship, even though it does have a good amount of cargo. Uh, you know, um, it's got auto turrets, it's got some suppressors, it's got my favorite gun, these um, Vanguard um, auto projectors, and apparently some kind of injury. All right, well, that sounds good. So, uh, we'll go in the ship first this time. So you come into a Tayo um, landing bay in the front there. Then you have a captain's quarters. I like the Stroud Eklund one because it has the nav table. Um, then you have your docking port here. And then go up here. And you have a one by one. And over here you have a living quarters. That's mainly for the passengers. And over here, we have the computer core. This is for crew stations. It has way more crew than it needs. I just, that was the one I liked. And then here is a three in one, um, all in one berth from Shroud Eklund. Then we get to the Ares bridge from Deimos. Again, another navigation table, but you get into the bottom of the ship, you can travel real quick. So, as you can see, you know, it's it's that layout I like that's clean. You know, you do have rooms off to the side, but you hardly ever have to go in those. So you just walk to the back and you are good to go. So you can replace the, the two halves on the sides with workshop and science lab, but that's up to you. But let's take a look in the shipbuilder now. Um, I gave myself a bunch of money and I unlocked 90% uh, of the ship parts at New Atlantis. So I have most of the parts here, but uh, pretty much you can go to Deimos for the cockpit. And then uh, I have some shielded cargo from the Red Mile and then the engines you can get from Stroud Eklund, uh, the weapons from New Atlantis, and then everything else can be built at your landing pad. So um, that's about it. You can use any C-class reactor, grab drive. Um, some of the parts are meshed into each other. So um, if you don't know how to do that, you select the part, um, place it to the side, and then move it back on and flip it. Um, there's other ways to do it. Uh, that's the extent of what I'm able to do. See, it's got four suppressors on it. It's got six of the Vanguard auto obliterator turrets or um, auto projectors, and then it's got four of the turrets. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we have four of these PBO 300 Alpha turrets, one facing forward, one backwards, and two off to the side. Then we have the Firebolt 4000 Express suppressors, and then here's those Vanguard obliterator. I like these because they're only two power. You can have six of them. So. You see, I have max crew of 12. You know, that's from the extra two guns. You know, that gives you an extra person because it's 0.5 crew capacity. So then we have our Ares bridge. And then if we look under there, we have our Teo cockpit on the bottom. Then we have that captain's quarters. And then we have our reactor behind it. I didn't use a 40 reactor because it I needed connection points in more than one location. There's our slim docker, and then above that is the three-in-one berth, and then it comes off to these these halves right in here. So there's the halves right, control station, and then, like I said, you can swap these out for whatever you want. I just, any of the halves, actually. So then I have some nose cap bees. I have six of these um, S SLA 6830 engines. Um, I got these two meshed together, and then I have just two sitting normal Stroud Eklund nose caps, and then I use these Stroud Eklund um, engine bracers, and then underneath to give it a little bit more support, I use these Demo bracers A. Then I have the Hope landing gear. Our Nova Galactic landing gear, the NG20, I used the middle variant 
because that allows me to place cargo on either side. So I use these Caravelle V102 cargo holds and then that also comes in a shielded variety. Um, a little less cargo space, but again, I line the whole underside with shielded cargo. I left it white so you can see what is shielded. And then um, if you want to make the, the, the fighter lighter, you can replace this gear and this gear with the wide variant and it will connect to these two demo spines. You'll lose these four cargo on each side and but the, the, the fighter will be lighter. So it's a 7,040 cargo, um, 99 mobility. I just I tried to squeak out that one mobility and it was just it was becoming too much of a hassle. I did add some cargo on the side. You can if you don't want to mesh parts in, you can remove this cargo and put side weapon mounts on there and put your um, auto projectors on those or your suppressors on those. I, but I like I like the look of these little side cargo. And on top of that, they give you five hull. So if you, say, use a larger cargo, like this one, you know, this is the largest one, it's 1480, but it also gives you five hull and it's 310 mass, whereas this is 64 mass for 300 cargo. It's roughly the same mass to cargo ratio, but you get an extra five hull. So, and then you can, like I said, you can tuck these into places next to the gear like that. And it gives you, um, you know, it kind of hides it. Uh, I believe I used all these cargo. I don't see any other cargo that I used yeah I don't see I think I just used these VO2's um, seems like a high amount of cargo for that though Oh, no, right here, there's the larger cargo, so I did use two of those in the front here. I thought that the number seemed high for the amount of cargo I had. So, but yeah, that's it. Um, these are meshed into the cockpit, so yeah, I like it. Um, I was building large freighter-type ships, and... They were too heavy they didn't move very well and I was doing the main story and I got to a certain fight and I just got destroyed um, so I went with a lighter fighter and then I was upgrading some weapons and I didn't have enough cargo hold to hold all the resources while I did it so then I just put this extra cargo but I can you know very like I said very easily lighten it up removing some of the underside cargo and things like that so I can remove these back too, and I can change this to a wide variant. And then, you know, it gives me my hunter mobility, but it also um, lowers my cargo and my overall mass a little bit. So let's do that on both sides. So there we go. So then it looks like a better connection point. Like I said, it does lower the mass of the ship, makes it a little more agile. So, let's, let's do these two also, because now that I look at it, I like that better. Yeah, I like that better. It looks like more of a solid connection than, than having the cargo. So... And then you still have the two shielded, so you got 480 shielded cargo. You know, only in about 5,000 overall cargo, which is plenty for what I'm doing now, because I, I just I just new game plus, so this is the first ship on this save, so on this run, anyways. So let's save our changes and exit out and. I'll show you underneath there. Yeah, see that looks that looks like a better connection.
than when it just had the cargo. And then you still have some cargo in here. So, two shielded cargo. I know having them white right now, it's like defeats the purpose because they stand out for shielded, but I just wanted to demonstrate the, the shielded cargo on there. So let's go up to the cockpit here and take off. Why I didn't go directly to the cockpit, I am not sure. I think this is run four, maybe. Um, I know I did 20 temples this morning in a row. Well, not in a row, as I had to do some story in between, but oh, not doing that again. That was just a nightmare. I'd prefer to fight a boss instead of what the puzzle is now. Just give me some Starborn or something to fight. I just. It gets so repetitious, especially if you if you wait to do it. So, you know, it maneuvers well. You know, I have extra power. Like, if, if I'm going to be in a fight that I'm not going to take over a ship, I can power up the turrets all the way. And my auto projectors, most of the way, have full engines and shields. So, top speed, 150, I believe. Boost. So you get to five, five thirty. So it definitely handles better than when I was flying it earlier with the extra cargo, with the extra three K cargo. So I like it. It's one of my lighter ships because most of my ships have ten K cargo. Because that, that gives you 80 mobility with those engines. And I don't know, by default, I just try to min-max it. But I found, you know, I noticed that a lighter ship, despite having 100 mobility, um, does better. So, yeah. So that's my ship there. Um, again, no name. If you want to name it, leave it down below. But like I said, I'm, I'm pushing New Game Pluses until I get to the point where... I want to get to and then I'm going to build a bunch of outposts, build a bunch of ships, all that stuff. Um, I would like to be able to increase my ship count because you know this is the frontier now I converted the frontier and that's one ship you can't get rid of and then the new game plus ship you can't get rid of and I, I never fly that other than the very beginning so that's gonna do it guys thank you so much a uh, special thanks to Grease Monkey uh, been a lot of inspiration to me on these builds and showing me a lot of tips and tricks um, he does a lot of cool merging stuff so check him out um, yeah does some awesome stuff I'm, I'm not capable of doing so that's gonna do it guys everyone have a great day and i'll see you next time